So I left off taking off the uh, crank pulley bolt and the crank pulley and once you have that off then you can take off this lower timing belt cover. Um, all the bolts are the same except one so please make note of the longer one and make sure you put it back in the same hole. Uh, once again all this is covered in the service manual so just uh, follow along and make sure you read it before you attack this project. Um, after you get the timing cover off then obviously you can get the timing belt off. Um, before you take the timing belt off you want to mark the direction. Um, you also want to inspect everything closely. You want to make sure there's no grease or water or anything that could have damaged the belt. Um, we're going to change the water pump and everything anyway, but it's just something you want to inspect in case you want to try to reuse the belt. Um, you may not be doing a full service, you may just be changing out a cam, so uh, in that case you do want to mark the direction and make sure you put the belt back on in the same place. Um, <clears throat> we remove the tensioner and the first way to do that is to go ahead and remove the tensioner pulley uh, bolt. Uh, and here it is. Um, you'll notice there's a flat washer and a lock washer and it's captured so there's no way to replace that lock washer. Um, what I suggest you do is go ahead and replace the entire bolt. Um, make note of the uh, grade of the bolt. It's a 7 I believe. There we go. And just go ahead and replace the washer, the lock nut, and the bolt. Uh, these are new pieces. We're also going to replace this timing belt idler pulley that's on the other side, the back bank, while we're here. And here's the old one. Uh, the tensioner, uh, it looked like it was leaking, so uh, it might be a good thing that we uh, pulled it off. I also had trouble getting the alignment pin through the hole uh, while it was still on the engine. Here's a new one. We'll be putting that on here pretty soon. Um, new water pump, new water pump gaskets, and also new gaskets on the block-off plates. While we're here, we'll go ahead and replace those. These are for the thermostat housing. I do like the new ones. They come with these metal tabs, so they hold right onto the item you're trying to bolt up, and you don't have to worry about it sliding around or trying to get the bolts through the whole gaskets. We'll need these later to hold the uh, timing belt onto the gears. And uh, show you what we've done on the block. Um, before you take the timing belt off, obviously you want to line up all the cam gear marks on the valve covers with the uh, marks on the cam gears all the way around also on the crank the hub down there you want to line up the bolt uh, this marker right here with the dot on the front of this gear right here so uh, you're not going to see this on this camera but it's down there and you'll see it once you clean it up a little bit it's got a little hole in it you'll also notice I'm using the castle nut to hold the uh, crank pulley bolt up off of that pin because I don't want to damage it um, so once everything's all lined up, then you can remove the tensioner pulley bolt, and then once you remove that, you can pull the whole bolt uh, pulley off, and then remove the tensioner itself. And then I pull the belt off the bottom of the water pump, and then what you want to be is very careful, because these front two, <coughs> especially this intake cam gear, is going to want to jump on you. So uh, keep your fingers clear when you do that, and realize that keeping tension on this is probably a, a good idea until uh, you get it off the water pump and off the rest of the gears and then this is going to jump on you so just be prepared for that keep your fingers clear once you do that then you can take off uh, the water pump and as you can see it's been removed and I took off the uh, coolant tube a long while ago and you also see these uh, block off plates that are underneath here uh, we're going to do those at the same time as well just because uh, there's no reason why not to do them while we're here. Once again, a lot of this labor <clears throat> has to do with you're here, and you don't want to pay to have all this torn apart again because you have a leak somewhere. So it's best to be thorough and just take care of all these little gaskets. The cost of the actual parts are negligible, uh, but the headaches of a leak are uh, immeasurable. The other thing is it can damage the timing belt, so make sure that after you do a replacement and you check everything out make sure there's no oil leaks make sure there's no water leaks on the belt or the gears or any of the pulleys uh, that could interfere with its performance and longevity so petroleum products and uh, rubber uh, parts just don't go together so we make sure everything's clean uh, use a flat razor blade keep it perpendicular to the face and clean all the gasket surfaces especially if somebody else has been in here um, fortunate enough that this looks like it was original to the car uh, they use metal gaskets, as you should on these engines, 
and it was fairly easy to clean up with some uh, carb cleaner and a rag. Uh, fairly clean, so everything else seems to be uh, in good condition, and now we're going to start putting everything back together. Uh, we're going to put in the water pump, put in the block off plates back, get the timing belt on, and uh, in order to do that, I'm going to back up the crank gear uh, three teeth. And once you do it three teeth, <clears throat> then you can move the crank gears, uh, cam gears. And you don't want to move these at the same time. You want to move one or the other. And in the service manual, it tells you where these crank gear marks are best suited before you turn them clockwise uh, to actually put the belt on. And they call them non-A areas. And the service manual shows the diagrams of where they want these cam gear marks uh, before you turn them clockwise. So uh, make sure you read the service manual. Um, next time you see this, everything will be put back together pretty much. Uh, no real tricks. Uh, the water pump, I do like to put a little bit of silicone grease, pure silicone grease, on this back side, just a thin film because it'll make the installation of the coolant tube and its rubber seals much easier. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind, another trick. And also, uh, the bolts are different sizes on the water pump. So make sure you use the shorter side on the correct side and the longer ones on the long side. And that too is covered in the service manual. So uh, that will save you some headache as well. So stay tuned. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, subscribe. And we'll get this car buttoned up. Thank you for watching. And uh, have a great day.